So today we are going to present a poster on biosynthesis of silver nanoparticles using plant extract and their properties. So uh, in this poster, firstly we have given the introduction, the methodology of how uh, silver nanoparticles can be synthesized without the use of any toxic chemical reducing agents uh, and by just using a silver nitrate solution as a precursor. Then we have added the various characterization that were done in these given papers uh, on these uh, biosynthesized nanoparticles uh, like UV spectroscopy, XRD, uh, FESEM, HRTEM, etc. So, introduction. Uh, we know that nanotechnology is the process of synthesizing nanoparticles in a nano range that is under 100 nanometers. Uh, nanoparticles have large surface area to volume ratio due to which they possess many optical properties as they are small enough to confine their electrons and produce quantum effects by which their detection becomes easy. So green synthesis is considered an effective way to reduce production costs, energy, they are energy efficient and uh, the use of uh, toxic chemical compounds is reduced. So. fields like uh, especially in uh, biological fields and the AG nanoparticles were biosynthesized with different biomass uh, like plant extracts, bacteria, fungi, algae and other microorganisms. Uh, silver nanoparticles are used in nanotechnology due to their antioxidant, anti proliferative anti-diabetic, anti-mycotic and anti-cancer properties. They have good application in water treatment sensors uh, in affecting open wounds, mosquito lyricidal properties and household appliances. Uh, the methodology used for uh, the biosynthesis is this. We have taken garden fresh calentia pinata leaves uh, for uh, the, and wash them properly first with tap water and then uh, open 60 percent at least open kariye did file ko okay so itna percent to open kiya so this is a uh, zoom three times so it is more than 60 percent thoda aur kariye kyunki ye disable nahi hai please ha aur itna kariye theek hai ab fir bhi theek okay so Firstly, we take in any uh, of those four papers. Firstly, the common methodology was this: that firstly we took the plant, then we dried and crushed those leaves. Then the those uh, the powder of those leaves was uh, boiled and filtered to make a plant extract. Then this uh, plant extract is added to our precursor, that is silver nitrate solution, and uh, then we wait for the color to observe the color changes uh, to the. Uh, silver nitrate solution has colorless solution and it turns to brown. Uh, for this leaf, this particular leaf, Kalinchio pinata, the color change, complete color change occurs in 60 minutes. Then we have the absorbent spectra of uh, these uh, biosynthesized uh, nanoparticles. For this uh, figure 2a represents uh, the UV spectrum for the plant extract, the silver nanoparticles and uh, our precursor that is silver nitrate solution. This is the peak of a plant that is there present due to uh, various uh, reducing and capping agents like flavonoids, terpenoids, uh, phenolic acids. Uh, then this second uh, absorption spectra has been taken at different reaction times. We can see that as the reaction time proceeds, the intensity of uh, the maximum intensity uh, of the uh, absorbance is increasing, uh, representing uh, that how the reaction is proceeding with time. Next, we have taken the absorption spectra at different concentration of plant extracts. You can see that as we add more, uh, the concentration is represented in terms of ratios. As we increase the uh, num the ratio of plant extract used uh, to the precursor, uh, we can see that the intensity increases. This is happening because uh, as we increase the plant extract, the uh, amount of uh, flavonoids, terpenoids, and phenolic acids that are present in it are also increasing. So uh, it the precursor is being reduced and capped better and then this is a variation with the increase of AgNO3. With increasing AgNO3, uh, more Ag plus ions are present in the solution. So, uh, which is why the intensity increases on increasing the intensity or in increasing the concentration of AgNO3. Then we have pH and temperature variation. Okay, so now uh, we've taken our silver nanoparticle solution and we have added 
FPL and NO NaOH to vary the pH. Now, as we increase the pH, there are more H plus ions available in the solution. Therefore, the more number of Ag plus ions Ag plus ions get converted into AgO ions. Therefore, we see that there is a shift in the intensity, and we can see in the following graph. Now, the second graph is with temperature. Now, as we increase the the reaction temperature, the the kinetic energy of the solution increases, and therefore the particles gain more velocity. The process of nucleation, that means forming crystallized Ag from the solution, is more, and hence we see that the intensity increases as we increase the temperature. Now, then we'll go to characterization of the samples. Firstly, this is the XRD pattern for the same plant. Uh, the, the four major peaks are uh, obtained. This is the peak of highest intensity uh, corresponding to 111 plane. This uh, has been matched to the JCPDS uh, file for uh, silver and uh, indicating that uh, the presence of uh, nanocrystalline silver. Now the following figure shows the uh, SEM and TEM images of the samples. Now we have seen that there was a single SPR band in our uh, absorption spectra. This means there are spherical monodispersed particles, uh, and we can see that there are uh, spherical particles, little nanoparticles, and the TEM images also show little fringes. That means the particles are like highly stable. Also, we have made a histogram of the sizes using image software, and then fit a Gaussian to find the average particle size. The average particle size comes around to be thirty-eight nanometers, and which is in agreement to the size obtained from UV spectrum. And this is the EDX analysis from the thin film that was recorded for SEM, and uh, we can see that uh, AG has been uh, found. To be eighty percent, and uh, the other constituents are because of the uh, the glass substrate plate that was used, and gold is also uh, present coating because of the coating the on the thin film. Now, uh, from this, we saw that biosynthesized Ag silicon nanoparticles were formed, and uh, green extracts uh, use were used as a reducing agent. The flavonoid, terpenoids, and the phenolic acid acts as a reducing agent, and uh, the part nanoparticles that we've made is highly stable and can be used for further uh, biological based applications like antibacterial, antifungal, anti-cancer, and we can the uh, XRD patterns also show that uh, the peaks were corresponding to silver atoms. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so. Much.